Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Legionary Farm here in Stardew Valley with our wonderful farmer, Caesar. Let's see what's on TV. Tomorrow's weather report is sunny. Okay, so tomorrow we have to water our crops. Fortune Teller says the spirits are neutral today. Okay. Now we have geodes, and I think I'm going to go crack those open at 9 a.m. But before 9, we can probably do some crop harvesting. Yes, our parsnips are ready. Nice. Did we get any gold parsnips? We did not. No gold parsnips. That's okay. That is okay. And there's nothing that we have that we can plant right now. Oh, we got mail. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Yeah, it is. You're right. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. So you soon. It costs like 2,000 gold. It's so expensive. Oh, hey. 100 gold just for harvesting some uh, parsnip. Nice. And that is not for selling the parsnip. This is just a mission reward. Raising animals. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need to build a coop or a barn so that you can raise animals. Build a coop. Okay. Advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Now, we've already seen, I think it was last episode, we saw a crow come by and he ate this particular parsnip right there. The crow just ate it. So we're out the 20 gold for buying that parsnip. We don't get any reward for it. All right, let's put down a mixed seed over here because we don't know what it's going to be. This one looks like a potato, and this one... Is that a parsnip? I'm not sure. That's that's a potato. Okay, uh, what do we want to get done today? I'm going to crack open the geos. I don't think Clint opens until 9 o'clock, though. Don't really need any of these items. Oh, you know what we could do? We could quickly get 300 wood and go fix that bridge. Yeah, we've got 167 wood. Put the parsnips away for now. Put the geodes away for now. And let's just get 300 wood. Why not? It can't take too long. We're already, we're already at 167. But yeah, the, uh, the blacksmith doesn't open until 9, I think. So we can't even bring the geodes over yet. I still can't believe we got that eel. We got that eel on the first try for uh, Elliot. That was amazing. Oh, and here's something I haven't talked about yet. There are objects in the game that require higher level tools than you start the game with. For instance, this tree stump, you hit it and it says your axe isn't strong enough to break this stump. So we need to get the next level axe, which is a copper axe, before we can chop this up. And there's even tougher wooden objects. They're giant wooden logs that you cannot even break with a copper axe. You need to upgrade to a steel axe before you can break those. So we'll run into that problem eventually. But for now, it's not really an issue. We're just going to ignore those, those stumps. All right, 205 wood. 95 more. Probably going to spend all of our energy here. Oh, you know what? Today's going to be a big day for spending energy because we can get more crops from Pierre's. We have 500 gold, and we're going to sell some parsnips, so we'll have even more gold. Now, these trees, they, they've been here too long. They had a good run, right? But it, their time is up. Out of my way, rock. Yeah, there's frogs and toads and stuff out there. And they rib it at you now and then. They're noisy, aren't they? Two seventy-three. Almost there. And our energy's almost gone. Perfect. I love having no energy. Two ninety-four. Okay, one more tree. 
we're going to have to eat both these leeks. And we'll probably have to bring out our horseradish, too. Just some more of the foraging items that we have that give us energy. Okay, so there's enough wood. Perfect. Let's put some of these items away. There's more mail to read, too. Won't need that. Won't need that. Won't need that. Won't need that. Give me the horseradish. And give me the parsnips. Give me the geodes. Actually, I won't need energy if I'm not going to be fishing. Yeah, so put the fishing pole away. Geodes don't need the wood. No, we do need the wood. Only 300, though. Oh, yeah. If you want to move all the objects from one location to the other, use a left click. And if you want to move one object, use a right click. If you want to move... So right click would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you want to move half of the objects, hold down shift and click. I'm sorry, hold down shift and right click so it moves half the objects. It's just little keyboard shortcut things that'll get you through the game a little easier, especially when you're moving inventory back and forth between chests or whatever. Or when you're selling things, you can use that as well. Left click instead of right click, or right click instead of left click to sell all of it or some of it. Uh, yes, let's go sell some parsnips at the general store. Um, I'm going to save a parsnip here. In fact, I'll save two, and I'll sell the rest of these. One of these we're going to use as a gift to Lewis for his birthday on the 7th, which is in two days. And uh, another one just in case someone else wants a parsnip. Because sometimes people will just request a, a parsnip or something. Okay. What's in the box? To our valued Joja Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant to init L61091 Joja Co. Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, our, we value our continued support and patronage. Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. Now, Joja is where we used to work. We used to work at Joja. So we know all about Joja. And uh, I have absolutely no interest in Joja. You can, in this game, be a Joja shill, essentially. But we're not going to be a Joja shill. No siree, Bob. If you do want to see someone being a Joja shill, check out Stijo's gameplay, because Stijo is being a Joja shill in his play of Stardew Valley. So it's just an entirely different way to play. Help wanted. Greetings, Demetrius here. Could someone please... Look at this! He wants a parsnip! Perfect! Alright, well, I'll keep one of these then. Oh, here we go. Hello? Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. This is Abigail. Alright, what's up? How to win friends. Give someone a gift. Giving gifts is a great way to build friendships. Learn each person's individual tastes and you'll be popular in no time. Uh, yeah. Okay, like we could try giving her a geode or a horseradish or a parsnip or whatever. All right, let's first talk. Business has been slow since Joja moved into town. It's hard to compete with their selection and their prices. All right, first things first. Sell all of these except one that we're going to give to Demetrius. Look at that, we have 950 bucks. I think I'm just going to buy some potatoes. Uh, cauliflower is good as well. Mm -hmm. I'll come back. I'll come back because I can give Demetrius the parsnip right now. That's fantastic. So have we met everyone yet? Oh, we have. The, uh, the thing where it says to meet everyone is gone. So we have met everyone. Good. Hello, Nicholas. Are you going to? Are you doing the bundles or just going to pay the cash? Uh, Bowen, what are you? What are you asking? Do you mean the bundles at the community center? We haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, well, first let's talk to Robin. You've met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. I have met Sebastian. He doesn't really talk much. He's a little shy, but I'm sure he'll warm up to you if you're nice to him. All right. Hey, Maru. When it rains, I have a good excuse to work on my gadgets all day. It must be kind of boring for you, though. 
You know, you know who Mara reminds me of is the girl from Chrono Trigger. What was her name? Holy crap. Working on gadgets all the time, little girl with glasses. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. Oh, Demetrius. Don't tell her I said that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I won't. Here you go. Hello, Caesar. So you saw the bulletin I posted. I really appreciate it. Let's see here. Here's what I owe you. All right, 105 gold. Nice. Can't talk to Sebastian yet. His door is closed. All right, so next up, I want to hit the uh, blacksmith, crack open these geodes, and then whatever money I have left, I want to buy potatoes. Or cauliflower. Or both. We have until 4 p.m. to get to the blacksmith, and we have until 5 p.m. to head to Pierre's to buy the seeds. Alright, what is in these geodes? I need to know. Oh, first, let's talk to him. Socialize. Today would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows? You might find some rare ores. Yeah, he's letting you know that the mines are now open. Because Joja Mart caused a landslide, but they cleared it. Slates. All right. Copper. What is that? Jello? Petrified slime. It might as well be jello. More copper. Alamite. Cool. All right. See you, Clint. Have a good day, bro. Donates. Yeah, typically this is what you're going to be doing with everything from the geodes. Once you've donated the objects, though, just keep the rest. Oh, we got a reward. What's the reward? What's the reward? We got... Uh, hey, cauliflower seeds. Perfect. That means I'm just going to buy potatoes. Since he just gave us cauliflower. Thanks, dude. Alright, next up is to use our wood to put a bridge down south. Let's take a look and see if uh, anyone's there to talk to, like probably Elliot. How long do we intend to stream? Um, probably another five hours or so, six hours, something like that. Alright, let's do it. Use 300 pieces of wood to fix the bridge? Yes! And the wood is, and the bridge is done. Nice. So what does this unlock? It's just another part of the beach. But what's cool about this is it has a ton of these corals and sea urchins and all this other stuff you can just collect and sell. This part of the beach is really good for making money. And there's this creepy old dude here. Old Mariner. I've got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, lad. Uh, he's the guy you talk to when you want to get married. Uh, it's... I forget what the amulet's called. Maybe it's called a marriage amulet, but anyway, once you get relationship high enough with someone and you want to get married, you talk to him, you pay him gold, and, uh, he sells you the amulet that you can use to marry. Hey, Willie. Alright, buy my stuff. Actually, yeah, just buy it. I can get, I can get all this stuff easily. Yeah, I think I want the money right now. Because with this cash, we can... Oh, we can buy a fiberglass rod. Oh, I'll have to wait. But yeah, with this cash, we can get a whole bunch of crops. Which I want to do. Ahoy there! It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. Yeah. $22 off of a fiberglass fishing rod. Which is just the next fishing rod, but... Yeah, 1800 bucks is not cheap, is it? I wonder if we have enough energy to plant a whole bunch of crops. I hope so. I just want all the crops in the world. Hey, Alex. Hey, what's up, farmer guy? Oh, I almost forgot. It's my day for doing push-ups. Every time I do push-ups, I try to do one more than the last time. Pretty cool strategy, huh? Oh, yeah, you're just the smartest kid ever, Alex. See ya. All right, how many potatoes can we buy with 1700 bucks? Uh, the answer is a lot. And if you want to buy a lot of things at once... Hold down shift. So you can buy five at a time. 
Let's get 50 potatoes. Oh, I can only get 35. All right, well, that's good. Perfect. Moderation. And now we are incredibly broke, but we have more parsnips that should be ready, I think, in two days. And we have a whole bunch of stuff to plant right now. All right, I can fit the cauliflower right here. There we go. And let's put some new area over here for potatoes. But first things first, get some energy, because holy crap, are we low on energy. We spent all of our morning chopping wood so we could unlock that part of the beach. Now that the beach is unlocked, the second beach, now that the second beach is unlocked, we need more energy to get ready for some potatoes. Have we unlocked the scarecrow yet? No, we still don't have the scarecrow. Holy poop. One, two, three, four, five. So that's one, two. We need seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, you don't have to make your farm one giant lump like I'm doing. I'm just doing this for I know, convenience. Makes it easier to water everything if it's all close to the, to the lake there. Oh, shoot, we're out of energy. Uh, do I have an energy bar? I do. Eat that energy bar, baby. Yeah. Field snack. Nom, nom, nom. Stupid crow better not come back. I think tomorrow, because we sold some parsnips, I think tomorrow we'll be farming level 2. And once we're level 2, or maybe it's level 1, whatever. Once we hit the next level of farming, I'm pretty sure it'll give us a recipe for fertilizer, which is really good. Um, it makes uh, your crops have a higher chance of being silver or gold crops instead of regular crops. And I think also uh, it will allow us to build a scarecrow, which will keep the crows from attacking our crops. There you go. A little stone pathway. Why not? I'm not sure how I want to organize all this stuff. Like, I'm going to want a whole bunch of chests over here. I guess I can put a line between them. So, four chests here. Maybe five. And then more chests here. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chests, chests, chests. Furnaces. Yeah, okay, that'll work. I will figure this out later, but that'll be fine. All right, let's put those cobblestone pieces away. All right, it's 8 p.m. We could do a little fishing, I guess. Bring my leeks, bring my fishing rod, put the coppers away. And I'll, I'll keep the hoe with us. Why not? And we're keeping two parsnips, one for... The mayor's birthday, and another for uh, just in case another another c citizen wants one. Yeah, two days until the mayor's birthday. So we'll hold on to those parsnips. This is a community center, by the way, and I don't know what unlocks it. Maybe it's just day six or day seven. I think it's day seven. I think it's on the mayor's birthday that it unlocks. And the community center has, uh, what do you want to call it? Quests, I guess? The community center has bundles that you fill up by putting objects in them. And once you've filled up a bundle, you get a, a prize. And once you've filled up a group of bundles in one category, like fishing uh, or whatever, then you get an even bigger prize. So filling up the bundles at the community center, although you don't get paid for any of it, is really nice. Some of the prizes are cool. Yeah, I'm keeping the hoe because sometimes you find worms. Especially when it rains. For some reason, the worms are really active when it rains. But I'll tell you right now, it's hard for me to see worms on this particular type of um, terrain. On the beach, I can see worms really easily. 
Um, but this type of terrain, especially when it's a little dark like this, it's kind of hard to see. It could just be my monitor. Like, my monitor doesn't show it very well. I'm not sure. Like, maybe the contrast isn't high enough. Because worms, I think, are like a really dark brown color. But the dirt is dark brown for me. might be the last fish. It's getting a little late. And I don't want to eat any leeks right now. I'll save the leeks for later. They're pretty valuable. Not not for selling, but they're valuable for energy. Oh, you know what? We did unlock the um, the mines. So why don't we go check out the mines before we go to bed? Alright. So we came up here a couple times, there was a giant boulder in the way, but the boulder's gone. Sup, dude? This is Marlin. He's got a cape. Because all cool people have a cape and an eye patch. Hmm. What are you humming about, Marlin? I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long? I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. You're not wrong, Marlin. Here, take this. You might need it. It's dangerous to go alone. Da-da-da-da. You received a rusty sword. Oh, thanks, Marlin. You're the best. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. I think you have to kill 10 slimes to, to become a member. Cool. All right, but it is time to go to bed. So we have a rusty sword now, which means we can fight stuff. You just swing it like that. You can use the sword to clear weeds, and it can be very useful if you don't care about getting things out of the weeds. Um, because I'm not sure you actually get the drops that you're supposed to get. Oh, a leak. You're supposed to get drops from weeds. Uh, you can get hay if you have a silo. And you can also get mixed seeds. You can get, what is it called? Fiber. Yeah, mixed seeds and fiber. Um, but I'm not sure if you get them when you have the sword equipped. I think you have to use the scythe for that stuff. Anyway, it is bedtime. Hey, level one farming. We can build a scarecrow and we can build fertilizer. So good. Fertilizer is epic. But I think that's a great place to end the episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for day six here on Legionary Farm. Have a good day.